This next video is going to add another wrinkle to uh, the one that we just previously looked at where we were looking at the maximum dose of lidocaine that a person could have in a single appointment. And so there is another factor and that is that we have an absolute maximum dose per appointment. And each anesthetic has its own and that's another one of those things that you just kind of have to memorize. So let's take a look at another example of calculating maximum dose when we factor in the absolute maximum, maximum recommended dose. So we're going to use Lido 2% again. And let's make our patient 130 pounds this time. So we learned in the last video that Lido, one of the things you need to memorize, is the maximum dose is calculated based on 2.0 milligrams per pound. So in order to figure out what the maximum dose for a 130 pound person is, we're going to multiply 2.0 milligrams per pound times the number of pounds they are. And we're going to get 260 milligrams as their maximum dose. Now there's also an absolute maximum dose and that is for lidocaine 300 milligrams. So what you want to do is you want to compare your answer to the absolute dose and whichever one of these is the lesser that's the one that's going to be our actual maximum dose. So basically you want to compare the upper limit to the calculation you get and choose the lower one as your answer. So let's continue and see what happens when we change the weight. So let's say we've got a 180 pound person. So to figure out their maximum dose, we're again going to do 2.0 milligrams per pound, and that's because we're working with Lido still. And they are 180 pounds which gives us 360 milligrams. So now we're going to compare that to the upper maximum dose, which I'm calling the absolute maximum dose, and we'll find that this is the lower number. So even though the calculations by weight came up with 360, because our absolute upper limit for Lido is 300, uh, we have to use the lower number for that patient.